this video, we are going to show you how to perform an HGT monitoring. But before we start, let's talk about what is the HGT monitoring and why do we need to perform this procedure on our patients. HGT monitoring or hemoglobin test is a blood test that screens or monitors for diabetes by measuring the level of glucose in a person's blood. Too much or too little glucose in the blood can be a sign of a serious medical condition. Blood glucose monitoring provides information about how the body is controlling glucose metabolism. Controlling patients' blood glucose levels reduces complications, saves lives, shortens hospital stays, and reduces healthcare costs. It is indicated in the care of patients with many conditions including diabetes, seizures, enteral and parenteral feeding, liver disease, pancreatitis, head injury, stroke, alcohol and drug intoxication, and sepsis. Point of care in this test provides a convenient, rapid, and accurate measurement of blood glucose. Blood samples are commonly obtained from the edges of the fingers for adults, but samples can be obtained from the earlobe, forearm, and anterior thigh, depending on the monitor used. Rotating sites is done to prevent skin damage. Moreover, it is important to be familiar with and follow the manufacturer's guidelines and facility policy and procedure to ensure accurate results. Normal fasting glucose is 60 to 100 mg per deciliter. Prior to conducting the procedure, first, we need to assess the patient's history for indications necessitating the monitoring of blood glucose levels. In addition, assess the patient's knowledge about monitoring of blood glucose and assess for any bruises or open areas of the skin to be used for testing. Once we're done, we are now going to proceed with the procedure. First, check the patient's medical record or nursing plan of care for monitoring schedule.
until sufficient amount of blood has formed to cover the sample area on the strip based on monitor requirements. Take care not to squeeze the finger, not to squeeze at punctured site, or not to touch punctured site or blood. Then, gently touch drop of blood to pad on the strip without smearing it. Next, apply pressure to punctured site with a dry cotton ball. can prevent serious medical emergencies and diabetic complications. With that, we hope that in this video, we were able to provide sufficient knowledge on how to perform blood glucose monitoring and properly guided you on each step of the procedure. Unexpected situations and associated interventions. Extremity is pale and cool to touch. Begin by warming the extremity. Have adult patients warm their hands by rubbing them together. Warm moist compress also may be used. Blood glucose level results are above or below normal parameters. Assess the patient for signs of hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia. Check medical record for ordered interventions such as insulin dosage or carbohydrate administration. Notify healthcare provider of results and assessment.